Brian Thomas with Ben Swan, Fox 19, giving us a reality check. All right, we got the uh, Arizona Supreme Court ruling under our belt, and now we're going to talk about more shenanigans from the, AG, from the GOP. What is it this time? They're making me nuts. I know. Every time you come on, you got another situation where the GOP is just playing fast and loose. Yeah, just quit. You know. Uh, so I, I told you uh, a few months ago about um, the fact that in the state of Massachusetts, where they were electing delegates, one of the issues that happened was, <clears throat> you know, obviously it's Mitt Romney's stomping grounds, and so uh, there were a number of high-ranking GOP folks who expected to be uh, delegates going to Tampa. And that included uh, the, the GOP's latest um, uh, guy who ran for governor. Uh, it included the former lieutenant governor who was lieutenant governor under Romney. And so there was this list of, of folks who were on the slate, and they did not get elected. Instead, there were 18 people who were elected who were pro-liberty um, candidates. A lot of them were very young people, you know, 18 years old, 22 years old. And so the GOP didn't like it, and they were angry about it. Obviously, these people were not Romney supporters, and so they didn't like that either. Right. And so the response to them was that they had to sign a legal affidavit stating that under pe the uh, penalty of pain, let's see, under the pain or penalty of perjury, that's what it was, under the pain or penalty of perjury, they would have to agree to vote for Mitt Romney on the first round of voting at the Republican National Convention in Tampa. Now, all of these, um, these folks had already said that they would do that. They had verbally committed to doing it because in Massachusetts, those delegates are bound. But in the event that a court rules, there's now, a, by the way, a federal court case that's been filed stating that delegates should not be bound and be allowed to vote however they ah. want. So we'll see what happens with that. But as that's happening, you know, Massachusetts said, no, that's not good enough. You have to sign this legal affidavit. Again, not in any of the rules when any of these folks became delegates. This was not in the rules. So uh, many of them did not sign it, or some of them turned around and finally signed it, but it was too late when they signed it. They missed the deadline. And so the RNC this weekend decided to throw out all 18 of those no. Strip them of their voting rights as delegates and replace them with 18 folks who, again, were originally wanting to be delegates going to Tampa. Oh, that's, so that's awful. It's the same, old, the same old process of, you know, this is our system and this is how we want to do it. And we pretend that uh, it's been designed to protect, yeah, uh, you know protect liberty and protect the rights of voters but voters aren't being protected and delegates aren't being protected in the party once again disenfranchising folks who really want to see a major change in Exactly. A major change within a party. If you have enough people that, that, that are trying to shift the Republican Party over to something, oh, I would argue that is the right way to go, pro-liberty, a libertarian philosophy, which is embraced by more people than, uh, than I think folks realize. If they're doing the laboring war and they're out there getting the delegates and they're out there getting the votes and, and they're out putting the candidates on the slate that get elected, I would say you've got a fundamental shift going on and there's nothing you can do about it. But look at a machine politics. You got a Republican Party, you have in the Democratic Party, and of course, this is the reason why we're pushing for reform all over the place. That's right. And, and again, when you when you have these these rules that are made up as we go along, and one of the major issues here too, Brian, that, that a lot of folks have not talked about, and we're just beginning to delve into this a little bit, is there is some um, civil U.S. law that states that you cannot you cannot allow um, states to bind delegates or to control delegates or to manipulate their votes in any way. Now, in the primary process, what the Republican Party will tell you, and by the way, what the Democratic Party will tell you, is that they are private entities, private clubs. Yes. Therefore, they don't have to follow election law. Well, that, that's actually not true. <laughs> well, and, it, and you say, uh, you pointed out, Ben, and guys, we're out of time. It, it is the subject of a court proceeding, and I suppose we will get a judicial ruling, and then it will be uh, very clear from that point on. Ben Swan, watch on Fox 19. As always, look forward to talking to you on Tuesday. Thanks again for the updates and the reports on shenanigans. It's happening all over. Fox